Oh, you can't. You don't. You can hear me. I can't hear anything. You don't need to hear them. As long as you're here with me, that's fine. <laughs> Look who it is, everybody. Yes. Our pal Ryan Dempster, the great Cub, the World Series champion, the guy, in, the host of Intentional Talk. All of those on things. MLB. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Happy opening day. Happy opening day. Hey, let's uh, talk about opening day. You know, they, right. they start off those. The, listen, it's early. Yeah. You, oh. Oh, look at this guy. Don't Johnny look, Vincent. Don't, don't, don't get him started. <laughs> you, 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 an opening series is not um, the kind of thing that sounds alarm bells, but when you lose your first two, you want to come out of there with at least one win, right? How important is it to get out of that series with one win? Yeah, I think especially the way the series went, right? Like you had a chance to win the home, the, the opening day of the year, and that got away from you. Then, uh, then you get your butt kicked on day two. You're up a bunch of runs, and then they come back, and they just kept fighting, and I think it's kind of shows a lot about their character early on. Now you get to come home. We get to see him in August, first start. I mean, this is exciting times of year. Um, very important to win, you know, a game on the road like that, especially against defending champs. Also, you know, maybe too early to, to worry about an injury, but I'm, I'm of the opinion that anytime a guy with a hamstring, it's one of those with Justin Seal we're talking about now in the opener. It's one of those injuries that can be can be nagging, right? You, you, it needs to be taken care of. A guy needs to be a thousand percent ready before he comes back. Mm -hmm. How concerned should Cub fans be about that? Yeah, well, anytime anybody gets hurt, it sucks, right? And then you have uh, how long is this going to be when you're dealing with muscles like you talk about that? You got to make sure that you're a hundred percent coming back because you don't want this to be nagging. But Craig Council said it. Listen, you're going to deal with adversity all the time. You, no matter who you are, no matter what team, nobody's exempt from it. And how do you handle getting through that? And they just happen to get it on the first day of the year and you lose your, your staff base. And that's something you're going to have to overcome. Other guys are going to get some opportunities to go out there and, and contribute. And somebody's going to step up in a big way. And then he'll be back out there. And when he does come back, it'll be a huge addition back to the rotation. You're talking about how you know other guys are going to get opportunities and other guys got to step up. There's Is there a balance there between stepping up and also just be yourself. You, you don't need to be Justin Steele to the other guys in the rotation. Yeah, for sure. When I mean stepping up, like don't try and do more than you've been doing in spring training that either won you a job or that you're having a good spring or you know what you need to do if you're a veteran guy. You don't need to do more that way. All it does is give somebody a great opportunity. I, I, that's what I got early in my career because the Florida Marlins traded everybody away and I got an opportunity. I got to step up. Um, now I had to learn very quick try not to do more than you're capable of because you're just help, uh, hurting yourself and hurting the team and so for these guys opportunity is what the step up is and now somebody's going to slide into that role and get a chance to showcase themselves. Shota Imanaga getting a chance to, yes. to show what he can do today. A, a different situation than what you were in. You were a young guy with Florida right. This is a 30 year old guy who's pitched in Japan for years. That said is there anything that prepares you for the atmosphere of a packed Wrigley Field on opening day? No, <laughs> nothing. It is so much fun. The adrenaline rush that is going on out there when you're playing, is it's, it's truly electric. You can feel it kind of radiate through your body. So it's how do you control those emotions? How do you temper all that? And this is a guy who has experience. He's pitched, been pitching for a long time. Um, he's got tremendous swing and miss stuff. We saw that in spring training. He punched out the world down there. Um, he's got... A, Kind of yeah, that can deceptive. I say you got a little, you got a little giddy when I even mentioned his name. Yeah, I said, well, you kind of I'm excited. Started, you First of all, I, lo I loved his press conference when he came in, you know, and he does it in English and hey, hey, Chicago, what do you say? And like, this guy gets it. He wanted to be here. He wanted to be a Chicago Cub. He didn't want to be anywhere else, and it worked out that he gets to do that. Now he gets to go out there at Wrigley on the home opener and toe the slab as the starting pitcher. I mean, how cool is that? I think he's going to have a big year. An incredibly small sample size for Craig Council, three games. But your impressions thus far in game, Matt, anything stick out to you at all? Um, offensively, I think, the, you know, the team has put together a lot of really good at-bats. Um, you know, a good job yesterday by the bullpen, the back end of the bullpen, to throw scoreless innings down there and give your team a chance to come back and win that game. Um, yeah, small sample size, right? You know what a lot of these guys can do. There wasn't a lot of new surprises as far as, who's in the rotation, who's in the bullpen, or who's, you know, in that lineup. So I, I, I think Craig knows what he has, and then it's just up for those guys to go out there and execute. And He's a good manager. He's a really good manager. He knows the game as well as anybody. Um, he's going to do a tremendous job. All right. Uh, fantastic. I got, a, I got a text from a, I'm gonna a, a go buddy of ours. I'm going to go get an El Bandito. 
Uh, El Bandito. To, yeah. who's, who's tequila is El That's Bandito? That's Chris Chelios. He's Chris gonna be Chelios. bartending here later is today. He, really? he yeah. said he said uh yeah, let's check if out. you can give him a plug, eleven thirty okay. he's serving his El Bandito. Free case of tequila for you. And I said, better than that, how about when you take that boat out this summer with Cindy Crawford on Lake Michigan? You have Ryan and I come with you. Yeah, with that, we'll take that a case of, of El case. Bandito. Yes, yeah. And Cindy Crawford. <laughs> okay. All right. Ryan and I are gonna get uh, get talking to some people over here. We'll be back after this.